Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. If you are excited about diving into the world of data but aren't sure where to start, you are in the right place. With more data being generated every day, companies are eager to hire skilled professionals who can turn this raw data into actionable insights. It's like having a superpower in today's world of information overload. So in today's video, we are breaking down a fast track roadmap to learn data science in just two months. There are various roles within this field, like data analysts who focus on interpreting data, data engineers who build and maintain data pipelines, and machine learning engineers who develop algorithms to make predictions. The demand for these roles is skyrocketing. But why? Because every industry is becoming more data driven and businesses need experts to make sense of all that information. So grab your notebooks and let's jump right in. So first, let's understand what data science is. Data science is all about extracting insights from data using techniques from statistics, programming, and machine learning. Let's understand this with a simple case study. So imagine an e-commerce company wants to improve its sales. By analyzing customer data, a data scientist can identify purchasing patterns, such as which products are often brought together. This insight can lead to strategic decisions like bundling products or personalizing marketing campaigns, ultimately boosting sales. So to start with, let's quickly see what a data scientist life cycle looks like. The data scientist life cycle is a structured process that involves several key phases. It starts with problem identification, where the data scientist defines the problem or question to be addressed. Next is data collection, where relevant data is gathered from various sources. Then comes data cleaning. Data cleaning follows, where raw data is processed to remove inaccuracies and inconsistencies. In the exploratory data analysis phase, initial patterns and insights are discovered. This leads to model building, where algorithms are applied to predict outcomes or classify data. So the cycle continues with model evaluation, where the performance of the model is tested and refined. And finally, deployment and monitoring are carried out, where the model is put into production and its performance is continuously monitored to ensure it remains accurate and effective. So now let's talk about the essential skills you'll need to get started in data science. Number one, programming languages. You'll need to learn Python or R. Python is widely used because it's easy to learn and has many useful libraries for data science. R is also great, especially for statistical analysis. Then comes tools and technologies. Tools like Jupyter Notebooks make coding easier and more interactive. SQL is important for working with databases, allowing you to retrieve and manage data. For creating visuals, libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn help you turn data into graphs and charts. Then comes mathematics and statistics. You don't need to be a math expert, but it's helpful to understand the basics of statistics, probability, and some linear algebra. Data manipulation and cleaning. This is a big part of data scientist's job. You'll often spend time cleaning up data to make sure it's accurate and ready for analysis. Python's Pandas library is perfect for sorting, filtering, and transforming data. And finally, learning about machine learning algorithms is crucial. This is where you use data to make predictions and decisions, which is a key part of data science. So how do you learn all this so that you can quickly reach your goal? Next up, we are diving into an exciting two-month plan to kickstart your journey to become a data scientist. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in week one, start with Python, a must-know programming language for any aspiring data scientist. You'll begin by familiarizing yourself with Python syntax, essentially how to write code, and understanding different data types like numbers and strings. You should also learn about variables which act as containers for storing data. Next, you can explore how to use operators and control flow tools. These include loops which are useful for repeating tasks and conditionals like if-else statements that make your code more dynamic and responsive. As you become comfortable, you should move on to intermediate topics such as lists for storing multiple items, dictionaries for storing data in key value pairs, and file handling for reading and writing files. These skills are essential for efficiently managing and manipulating data. Now week two consists of mathematics and statistics. In week two, focus on math side of data science. Start with basic algebra concepts and then move on to linear algebra, which is crucial for understanding data relationships and transformations. You should also learn about statistics, a vital tool in data science. This includes understanding descriptive statistics, which help summarize data, and probability distributions, which provide insights into data patterns and likelihoods. Now in week three, you can go with data manipulation and cleaning. 
Focus on data manipulation and cleaning, you can use Pandas, a powerful Python library to handle data frames, merge data sets, and perform basic data transformations. Pandas is your go-to tool for making data analysis straightforward and efficient. You should also learn data cleaning techniques such as handling missing values like deciding how to deal with blanks in your data and detecting outliers. Clean data is essential for accurate analysis and reliable results. Now it's time to talk about databases. You can learn SQL, the language used for managing and querying databases. Start with basic commands like select for choosing data, where for filtering data, and order by for sorting data. So Simply Learn's tutorials can be a great resource to guide you through these foundational steps. And as you progress, you should delve into more advanced topics like joins for combining data from different tables and aggregations for summarizing data. So these skills are crucial for handling complex queries and gaining deeper insights from your data. Now moving on to month two, begin the second month by mastering data visualization. You can learn to create simple charts like bar graphs, line charts, and scatter plots using Matplotlib, a widely used visualization library these visuals are essential for communicating your data findings clearly and effectively. So once you're comfortable with the basics, you should explore Plotly for creating interactive and more complex visualizations. This skill will enable you to present data in an engaging and dynamic way, making your analysis more impactful. So you can start by understanding the basics of machine learning, including supervised learning, where the computer learns from labeled data, and unsupervised learning, where the computer finds patterns in data on its own. These are foundational concepts that will open up many possibilities in data science. You should get familiar with key algorithms like linear regression used for predicting values and key means clustering used for grouping similar data points. These algorithms are the building blocks of machine learning and are widely used in various applications. Now in this week, take your machine learning skills to the next level. You can learn about more advanced algorithms like decision trees, great for both classification and regression tasks. Then comes random forests, which improve accuracy through assembled learning and support vector machines used for classification tasks. These tools will help you build more sophisticated and accurate models. And as you approach the end of your learning journey, it's time to put your skills to the test. You should work on real-world data sets, practice building and deploying machine learning models, and create data visualization dashboards. These projects are crucial for reinforcing what you have learned and gaining practical experience. Finally, complete a capstone project to showcase your ability to handle end-to-end -end data science tasks. This comprehensive project is a great way to demonstrate your skills and knowledge in a real-world context. SimpleLearn offers project-based resources to support you in this final step. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. You can also check out Simply Learn's professional certificate course in data science offered in collaboration with IIT Kanpur. This comprehensive program features live online classes led by IIT Kanpur faculty and industry experts hands-on projects, and real-world case studies. You'll master essential data science concepts, including data analysis, machine learning, statistical analysis, and data visualization, while gaining practical experience with tools like Python, R, Tableau, and SQL. Upon completion, you will earn a prestigious certification from IIT Kanpur, enhancing your resume and career prospects. Don't miss this opportunity to learn from the best and advance your career in data science. You can find the course link in the description box below. Now, to boost your data science learning, try these additional tools and resources. Number one, Kaggle. This site lets you work with real-world data sets and join competitions. It's a great way to practice your skills and see different approaches to solving problems. Then comes GitHub. Explore open source projects to see what others are working on. You can also share your own projects and get feedback from the community. And then Google Collab. This cloud-based tool allows you to write and run Python code directly into your browser. It's ideal for trying out code without having to set up anything on your computer. And that's a wrap. With this roadmap and these resources, you'll be well on your way to becoming a data scientist in no time. Remember, it's all about persistence and practice. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.